hey let me show you 25 amazing tips for Poco F6 Pro and first of all we are starting from the settings we have to navigate all the way down and first I want to show you how we can measure your heart rate thanks to the built-in heart rate measurement so it's available right here when you open it and put your finger on the finger fingerprint scanner you will have to wait for around 15 seconds to get final result and from what I find, find I'm using also Apple Watch SE2 that these measurements are pretty accurate just wait for it and as you can see right now I've got around 74 beat rate per minute now we can find here the second space so the second space allows us actually to create like second account on this smartphone it works like on the macbook or windows pc where you can actually switch to the different account and you will have your own wallpaper own apps everything will look actually different next we can also find here the memory extension so we can create additional ram by occupying storage we can add here additional 8 gigs of the ram if you want to apply changes you will have to reboot your smartphone in this phone we can also find the back uh, back top back uh, gestures and they are available in the gesture shortcuts we have to go into the back tab and now we got double back tab and triple back tab as you can see i've set up just calculator on the double back tab so when i'm gonna tap like this i will open the calculator but for the triple i can for example uh, maybe we can actually open this notification shade. I just did it three, two times. Now three times. There we go. Right now we go, we are going for the beam for the notifications. So we have to also open additional settings, move to the accessibility and now open the hearing. Now when you click right here, you can actually enable flash, flashlight notifications as you can see uh, it, uh, it's applying for incoming uh, incoming calls and other notifications now we are navigate into the battery where we can find the high performance mode that will actually improve speed of our smartphone there we go it, it actually reduced the battery life but it significantly speed up our smartphone when you go for the additional features, we can also boost charging speed. So you will enable actually fast charging by turning on this function and using this brand charger that is in the box of the smartphone. In this phone, you can also use face recognition and fingerprint unlock if you want. So the fingerprint sensor is built into the display and face unlocking is of course using the selfie camera. Now we have to navigate into the wallpaper because we can find here lighting edges. So if you turn it on, each time you receive notification, your edges will actually make this kind of the effect. We can actually find three different effects. When we are here, we can also enable always on display with a lot of different pictures. We can even set our own pictures. So as you can see, I put here bananas. And now we are navigating into the sound and vibration when we can find in the additional settings, I mean in the sound effects, the graphic sound equalizer that you can, you can use eight different presets or even your custom one if you want. And also we can find here spatial audio. We can turn it on by clicking on the switcher. And now from this sound settings, we have to go to the display and the brightness where we can find, for example, the advanced textures. So it actually adds rendering effects like blurring across the system to provide an enhanced visual experience. We can also turn on the 120 refresh rate and we can change display resolution. So it actually adds a little bit clarity. And if you want to watch videos with the best, uh, with the best quality, it's highly recommended to turn on this high resolution mode. And we can also find the AI image engine, which actually give us better resolution for videos, for images. It actually give us HDR effect and we can find MEMC mode, 
which actually give us additional frames to the videos to make them look smooth. Now from this settings, uh, from the display settings, we have to go into the more connectivity options where we can find NFC. So it means that we can pay with this smartphone. There is the NFC model built into the phone. We can also cast screen to other devices, like for example, to TV or external monitors. And now we'll go into the network acceleration. So we have to open the Wi-Fi. And thanks to the network acceleration, we can actually speed our internet. It's actually using the Wi-Fi and the mobile data together to get the best connection speed. Now I want to show you some camera tips that are pretty useful. So first, when you are in the photo mode, you can click here, enable voice shutter. And now when you say cheese, cheese, there we go. The photo was taken. If you want to take photos with the best quality, there's also a dedicated 50 megapixel mode that will give us really nice quality and details. Next, it's also mode called the short film. So this one actually allows us to few segments, the different segments. And after this, it will actually create the automatic transition. It will add music. It will look actually amazing. All you have to do is just to record some videos and then your smartphone is going to make all the work. And the last option that I want to show you, the last tip, it will be definitely the camera pro mode where we can adjust every parameter manually, like the focus range, shutter speed, ISO, exposure. And when you click on the left bottom corner, we can also find short description of every parameter. So that's all for this video. Right on, please subscribe to my channel.